So I'm back again this week for another tutorial and it's going to be on the Pia Mia inspired makeup tutorial from the boys and girls um, music video with Will I Am and I already talked about this um, on my snapchat and you guys voted for this like more of a pin up look it's the second look in the music video so I already moisturized my skin with my Hydrian Riche moisturizer by La Roche Posay and then quickly set my brows with some Rimmel brow gel because I kept these brows on all day and then I'm just going to prime my eyelids with my um, Naked Skin Concealer by Urban Decay in the shade Medium Dark Warm and I'm so happy that I finally stocked up on this one because I couldn't live without it. Now I'm just going to grab my 35O palette and then grab the shade that I showed you, it's kind of like a matte bony shade. I'm just going to quickly set that concealer in with that shade and then I'm going to grab this more of a dark cool tone brown shade I would say and then use this as my crease color I mean as from what I could tell from the picture I I think like all the eyeshadows were matte and she basically just had like a clear eyeshadow on her lid and then um, a little bit of a smoky brown towards the outer corner and a bit on the crease so that's what I'm gonna do now and trust me you need to blend so 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 much for this look because that's what I did I just kind of looked what I wanted to achieve and then just kept blending according to what basically I was seeing as I was blending um, just use um, a lot of like fluffy blending brush brushes the reason why I don't um, say what brush I use every time is because most of my brushes I just get on eBay and Amazon and they don't really have a name so if you want to see what brushes I use I'll link my eBay and Amazon um, makeup brush video in the info box so as you can see here I'm, I just took a deeper brown and then intensified the crease color a bit more and I, as you can see that I'm really 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 um, like blending the eyeshadow as much as I can to make sure that everything looks nice and smooth. And then when I was done there was a lot of fallout so I just took a makeup wipe and just cleaned up the edges and sharpened the edges as well. I went in with another fluffy brush to intensify the brown a bit more and then went with the first fluffy brush that I used to soften the edges with the original bony shade. And now onto my lashes, I'm just going to curl my lashes quickly and then for mascara I'm going to use the Clinique High Impact Mascara and it's a tester but I actually really like it. It's not as good as my Maybelline ones but it's alright because I was going to wear falsies anyways. And now for falsies, I actually got this pack of eyelashes from eBay and they're from China I believe and they look so 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 nice. They actually remind me of Huda Beauty lashes um, in Lana um, but I would say that the lash band is kind of thick and you do obviously feel that there's something there so I don't know I still think they look pretty but they're not as comfortable to wear in my opinion. Um, here I just quickly colour corrected with my um, LA Girl Orange um, corrector around my mouth area and rubbed that in quite roughly as you could see. Um, but um, for foundation I just took my Estee Lauder Double Wear foundation. I swear down that every time I use this foundation like my skin looks really really flawless. But I just took the shade Henna and Toasty Toffee and I mixed the two. And then I just blended everything in with my Beauty Blender. I did spray it a bit with the Smashbox Primer Water. And then here I'm just blending my concealer. I use the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer again. Um, it's my favourite concealer ever. And just blended everything out with my Beauty Blender. And I also grabbed my Makeup Forever Cream Camouflage Palette in the shade number 4. And took the two darker shades and slightly contoured and it just makes your contour look so good and it's just so easy to blend so I just really 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 love this palette and if you can get your hands on it definitely try it out because it's so good for contouring um, and yeah I'm just blending everything out I also did um, use my Ben Nye Banana Powder to set my concealer in as well Here 
I'm just um, applying some eyeshadow on my lower lash line. I took the same brownie shades that I used in my crease to just quickly smudge that on my lash line. Um, and yeah, it's kind of weird how I'm moving my contact lenses here, but anyways, we'll just ignore that. Um, and yeah, I'm just going to keep blending the eyeshadow on my lower lash line. So when I was done with that, I took my 17 medium bronzer and quickly set the um, contour that I did and I just applied the tiniest amount and then I took my 17 um, bronzing rocks it's like these tiny little rocks and I use it actually for a highlighter but you can I think you're supposed to use it for your body or something like that I don't know but it's so good as a highlighter like I'm literally obsessed and I can't stop using it um, if you haven't tried it definitely give it a go because it's super 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 cheap and now I'm just going to line my lower waterline with this Primark black um, coal eye pencil. I um, I really need to get like a new coal pencil in the shade black because I literally don't have another one. So yeah. But for now I'm just using this one. And then for my lips I'm going to use the Maybelline Divine Wine Lipstick. It's the closest shade I have to what she was wearing. So I'm just going to use this one. I know I've used it a lot in my previous tutorials but I just love this lipstick a lot. And then in the center, I just took MAC Chili and just applied that in the center. I also then set my face quickly with the Smashbox Primer Water and then I also cleaned the edges for my lipstick because it kind of looked a bit rough. So I used a bit of my foundation that was left on my hand and used a little brush to clean the edges up so that's the finished look i really hope that you guys enjoyed this inspired makeup tutorial please let me know what you would like to see next and i also have an exciting giveaway soon so stay tuned for that subscribe for more videos and i will see you in my next one bye guys